All right, well, hey, thanks for coming today. Thanks for stopping by. What day is today, big man? Motorcycle Monday! Motorcycle Monday! Monday! Thanks. Yeah, like I said, thanks for stopping by. Uh, today we're going to install this. What is this, man? The airbox. It's our new airbox for our KTM 690. Um, it should make it easier to clean, easier to service on the road. It's also going to make it uh, give us a little more air into our engine and no dirt will get past it. That's what we like. All right, so I took my seat off and uh, right here we have our battery. And this right here is the air box. And it is huge, isn't it? It takes up a ton of space and it actually uh, still lets dirt in after all of that uh, space taken. So um, this new piece will take all this out and clean it up and give us a lot more space and save us weight. The more weight we save, the quicker and more agile the, the bike feels. Also, we gotta take off the front bearings. Bearings. Now, what are you doing, big man? Taking two screws. Off the, what? The rectifier. The regulator rectifier. Side as much as I've seen other people, but yeah. I've gone off road a ton. But look, but the edges are definitely dirty. Yeah, and look how much space it takes up. Yeah, crazy, huh? Yeah, big, it's big, huh? Yeah. So we have this whole huge space up here now. The new air box goes right here. I think this is where my new bag goes. Extra bag. Cool, huh? Yeah. This is the air sensor right there. Part is a little tedious. It's really small screws, hex screws, and really small bolts. So now it's time to tighten them down in a circular pattern.
All right, well, it looks like we have this all mounted and ready to go. Uh, we've connected it down to the throttle body. We connected the air sensor. We've um, tightened down these, these screws and these right here. Plug the ECU back in. Um, have the, all the wires routed. Looking good so far. Uh, hopefully we, we did the correct spacing. And now we will put on the filter. So I have not bought any filter oil for this yet. And I will go do that um, tomorrow on the way home from work. Um, but let's go ahead and put it on and see how it looks. All right. So I'm going to, um, once I oil it, I'm gonna oil it here and then this gasket around. I'm gonna take this plastic piece and put it under there. Let me see if I can get that done. Well, looks like we got it in. It's locked down here, locked down here, and won't come up here. Now let's look at uh, let's look at the amount of space that we have saved up here in the front. We have it all installed. Look at the space that this saves from here all the way up, and then look, it's all the way down to the middle of my forearm. How deep this is. So we actually have a bag that uh, that we will be putting inside of that space. Um, you know, probably for some tools or some stuff like that. I'm sure it's going to get really hot in there. Um, you know, and it's not the most easily accessible. But look at the space this is saved. Anyway, so so far, I mean, it was really easy to put together. It took a little bit of time. It took about an hour and uh, and a half. Um, but we took our time and moved the camera around a lot. And looks like we just got to put the fairings back on each side and uh, and the seat back on. Anyway, so I will oil this tomorrow and then try it and see how it sounds and see how it, see how it performs. Hey, here's the bag we were talking about. The nice made in America. But um, this is gonna take that space that we were talking about down here. It has a simple zip uh, that goes around the outside and a bunch of tie downs, tie down locations. And they provide you with the tie downs that you'll need to, uh, to lock it down where exactly you want it. But, the size, um, I would probably say probably four or five Cokes can go in here. Obviously you're not gonna put any drinks in here under your seat next to the engine, but it gives you an idea of, of what you can put in here. Anyway, so we're gonna pop it down in here like this, and then we will use some zip ties, and we'll get it zip tied down, and it'll be just like this right here. So I'd like to give a shout out to Rottweiler Performance. Um, looks like an amazing, uh, amazing accessory for the KTM. The video they did on YouTube made it so easy to uh, install it. Dealing with them on the internet was quick and easy. I actually emailed them a couple times about some equipment that they had that I didn't have and they shared all the information that, that they had. Really nice. And, Really good company so far to work with, and I appreciate them. I'll throw the link in the bottom uh, for this product and for their company. Thanks. Appreciate it. Join us next week for Motorcycle Monday. See ya.